Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot love messages here. This is going to be a general reading and therefore the messages are going to be general so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot readings with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay guys I'm going to go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and today we're actually going to focus on whether you and your Divine Masculine, your Twin Flame here, Divine Feminine, might actually, um, if the two of you will end up together, okay? Will the two of you get married or will this last? Okay, so we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they predict will be the outcome for your connection. Oh, okay. The Page of Swords here. page of cups as well the cards are just flying out you've got the nine of wands and I'm going to pull out a few more did I say the nine of wands? I meant the nine of swords here I don't know why I'm thinking of wands energy So will this last? What will be the outcome of your connection? Okay guys, um, it's been quite been quite a bumpy ride from what I can see um, there's been quite a tumultuous energy here you've had quite a turbulent some turbulent times between you and your divine um, masculine divine feminine here your twin flame we want to know will it last here or what will the outcome of your connection be okay okay um it may not go the distance this connection he may not go the distance but it may end um we may end temporarily or it may end permanently here however i feel like it's important for you to know that and I feel like some of you may already intuitively have these emotions or a part of you knows that although, you know, your twin flame here plays a very significant role in your, um, in your current present here, they may not necessarily be there in your future. Just given this fluctuating presence and this fluctuating energy here, um, you're a part of this union that you have with your twin flame is about self-identification and about discovery and they play an absolute instrumental part in this for you and as do you put as do you for them here twin flames um, you know that they're, they're very challenging connections um, they can be very intense they can be very difficult here um, but they're all about helping us grow helping us evolve you know identifying self-identification discovery here um, and what I can see right now is in order for this connection to truly last, okay, um, there is potential, but for a lot of you, if you do not do this, then I don't feel like you and your twin flame will, you know, end up happily ever after riding off into the sunset. You need to break down certain barriers here. Certain barriers need to be broken down here. Because essentially your twin flame is half of you and you're half of your twin flame. And the two of you hold up, you hold up a mirror to one another. Now I can see that they've pushed their boundaries. I can see that they've challenged you. I can see that they've come in and out of your life. I can see that there's a lot of friction, a lot of, you know, there's, you don't always see eye to eye. You don't always agree with what they say. They don't always agree with what you say. In fact, a lot of the time you probably argue more than you do have open and honest communication they've done things in which they've hurt you swords are weapons guys okay um they've said things 
words that hurt you, they've cut you like a knife, they've done things to hurt you. There wasn't always malicious motivation or intent behind it. Sometimes it was to spite you, sometimes it was out, out of jealousy. Look, it has been a turbulent um, connection. It's been, it has been very up and down, okay? But it hasn't always been that bad, you know? When, they, when they're there and when they do care for you, you can feel their love, you can feel the intensity of the emotions here. However, um, I feel like right now, if the two of you can get to a place where you truly are able to trust one another, to open yourselves up to one another, because as I was saying earlier on, you know, this is a twin flame connection and twin flames hold up a mirror to ourselves. So they mirror back to us our flaws, our shortcomings, our insecurities, our anxieties and our fears and, you know, um, did I say our flaws? And you do the same to them, okay? So this is your, you know, your your twin flame, your other the other half of you okay and a lot of you I feel like you're reaching sometimes you're reaching deep inside of you for a fantasy or for an illusion of this connection of what it could be the two of you need to create a safe, safe space where you can come together and you can trust each other and really open up yourselves to one another here and let down your guard because I said that there are certain barriers that need to be broken down okay there's a lot of these weapons here okay and notice how notice the armor here on the knight of swords your twin flame here is so emotionally guarded okay they've got their guard up they need to learn to be able to bring their guard down if they do do if they don't learn that in time um, I do feel like this is what will prevent this um, connection from thriving and this is what will bring about an end to your connection okay is because they're so guarded they're so closed up they're so walled up here that you know they're scared to let you in okay they're scared to trust you they're scared to open up they're scared to let you in here and that's what's going to essentially put an end to this connection okay if however the two of you and it is something that you or they will end up regretting later on in life okay and there'll be a lot of lessons that they will learn from this and you will learn from this but some of these lessons you know will be learned way after here yeah. so some of you i feel like yeah if you do not break down these barriers um you'll be i don't know that how do i say this I don't know that the two of you will actually come into union with one another, okay? And I feel like I don't know that this connection will actually thrive and, you know, flourish here. And in order for the two of you to sort of balance out this connection and balance out what's really happening between the two of you here, I feel like you first also have to learn to balance out yourselves here. We all know that, you know, twin flames are prone to running. And like I did say, I see this fluctuating in and out presence, right? They're here and then they're gone. You know, one day they're, you know, your best friend, your lover. The other day they're someone very distant, a stranger here. Um, we, are, we all know they're prone to running here. Some twin flames sort of, they get into the full swing of things right away. Whilst others... Whilst for others, it, it takes a very long time to actually, you know, sort of come into union. And for those of you that are listening right now and you feel like, you know, it resonates with you. Um, I, d I did mention, you know, right now I feel like there are certain barriers that need to be broken down. Okay. Um, Yeah, because if those barriers are not being broken down, you know, and if it's if someone or if both of you do not learn to bring down your walls, bring down your guard for one another, then unfortunately the outcome of this connection, the outcome of this twin flame connection is one that's, it's not one that is going to be very favorable and it's not one that you're going to be desire, desiring because it is something that's going to end for you and it will end on a painful note because swords here are weapons, okay? Alright guys, and these are your uh, messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.